Hey everybody, welcome back to Double Barrel Sports Cards, and today on the channel, we're going to be opening up a 2022 hobby box of Topps Heritage. Now, most of you guys have probably already seen this rip before, but today we're going to go ahead and rip it for one of our awesome, awesome sponsors, Keith. Thank you so, so much again for sponsoring this video. Keith, if you guys don't know who Keith is, he's already done another sponsorship for us. He sponsored a blaster box and he got some pretty cool cards in there. You may want to check out that video. It's towards the beginning of our journey here at Double Barrel Sports Cards. But man, he found some good stuff in that blaster. So I'm hoping in here we're going to find something great. So you're definitely going to be getting either an autograph or a relic in this hobby box. And I'm hoping you're going to get an autograph. Um, I have pulled an Albert Pujols autograph from a single pack. Um, I've never opened a hobby box. This will be the first time. So I'm hoping that we can find some numbered cards and hopefully we find you that autograph. Um, but before we get to ripping, just wanted to thank every single one of you. Thank you, all of our viewers, all of our subscribers. Um, we have reached the threshold of 100 subscribers at Double Barrel Sports Cards. If you would have told me that within two weeks of this channel opening up, we'd have 100 subscribers, I would have told you you were crazy. So thank you so, so much for your support. We are working on the 100 subscriber giveaway. And just as a reminder, that's going to be the Bo Jackson rated rookie card, as well as a blaster box of your choice, either an Allen & Ginter, a Topps Heritage High Number, or a Topps 2022 Update. So we're going to go ahead and get that video taken care of here in the next couple of days. I'll go ahead and shoot out a message to everybody on YouTube just so you guys are aware of the day and time that we're going to go ahead and drop that video. So thank you so much again. Let's go ahead and get to ripping for Keith. Keith, I really hope we find something big in here for you. I'm hoping we find a one of one. That's what I'm looking for today. So let's see what we can get. And it looks like your box topper is going to be Francisco Lindor. That's a nice one. That's a nice big card there. I like these really big cards. I have a nice little collection of these now. So very cool one there. Francisco Lindor, a great player. Um, so, and as always, we'll go ahead and put out the, you know, top five cards of the break. Um, you know, whatever we think are the top five. Um, so hopefully we can get you a pretty cool one here. Kind of move your name off to the side there. Awesome. Let's go ahead and get to ripping. And if you guys have not heard, Jacob deGrom is no longer a Met. He has moved over to the dark side to the Rangers. So that'll be kind of interesting. There's a lot of guys moving around right now. Um, so we'll kind of see how everything plays out. Just like Eric Cosmer, he's not a Padre anymore. Uh, he is a Red Sox, if you did not know that. Um, if you are new to card collecting, some of the cards that you're going to want to look for in here... Um, you're looking for some of those really nice parallels. They do have hot boxes in Heritage. Um, does not look like we're going to have a hot box here, um, but nice rookie card there of Lars Nupar. Um, but some of the parallels in here are beautiful. Um, they've got this kind of nice film over them, and um, they're just really nice looking. Um, so, and I, I really like Heritage. I've gotten really lucky. I pulled an Albert Pujols autograph out of a single pack. Um, that's probably the best luck I've had. My luck kind of dried out with this product pretty quickly. Um, but, you know, I've gotten some nice numbered cards. I have a Zach Wheeler numbered to 71. That was the black border parallel. Um, so that was a nice one. Um, but I like the old style look. And, like, here's an older player here, Willie Stargell. Great career there. And Fernando Tatis, Mr. Ringworm. <laughs> um, so, but I like the then and now cards. Those are really cool. Um, so kind of nice looking. The, the cards, if you've never looked at these before the way they feel super super uh cardboardy uh, david fletcher one of my favorite players got an autograph of his on my jersey man i i love this guy uh, i'm really hoping he can uh have a really good 2023 year jay kernelworth right behind him another one of my favorite players uh, but yeah the cards themselves they're um very cardboardy but some really interesting photographs on here um if you guys saw our Topps Heritage High Number video, um, some of the cards, some of the pictures that these guys take are pretty funny. And uh, some of them are also kind of creepy. I know there's like a creepy Bobby Witt Jr. as well. Uh, we didn't get the creepy Bobby Witt. Um, I think that one's also in archives, but um, some of these guys take some pretty funny photos. So nothing thus far, Keith, but hoping we're going to find you some fire here coming up real soon. Got some nice rookie cards in here. Um, this is before they were releasing the uh, Julio Rodriguez, but we are looking for Wander Franco in here, so that would be a nice one. Endangered Species, we have an eagle. Um, so 
kind of a cool insert card there if you guys like birds. Um, so kind of a cool one there. Moving right along. Do you have 24 packs in here? So hopefully we find a couple of numbered cards in here. That's the goal. And um, like I said, we're looking for that autograph. Um, relics are awesome. And my feeling on relics, it's a piece of the game. And I know a lot of people are down on relics just because, you know, hey, it's just a piece of a jersey or just a piece of a bat or glove or whatever it might be. But for me personally, as a card collector, nice hands crossed there, um, I just really like the fact of getting a piece of the game. Um, getting the blue ink or red ink or whatever it might be on an autograph is super special because now you have that person's autograph, um, but also to the relics, now you have a piece of the game. And if you get like a big name player like Ken Griffey Jr. and you have a piece of his bat, um, you know, that guy did some crazy things in his career and to have a piece of that piece of history, that's awesome. And, um, oh, nice Sears Towers there. Um, but just to have a piece of history like that is really, really special, at least in my opinion. Um, you'll have to tell me in the comments what you guys think about relics. The one type of relic I don't like are the manufactured relics. Um, some of them are really cool looking, but when you promise someone in a hobby box that they're going to get like a relic or something like that and you put in a piece of cardboard with maybe a little piece of plastic on there has nothing to do with a piece of the game just because you're trying to make fillers that's kind of frustrating because you're spending good money you're spending you know 100 125 dollars for these hobby boxes and um I don't feel like you're getting any kind of return in, on investment on that. And, you know, you might get lucky and get a couple of short prints or something like that that uh, may help out with getting some of your money back on the box. But the manufactured relics, I, I know some of the hobby boxes like Top Series 1 and 2, um, as well as the update, they've been putting manufactured relics in there. Nice vintage of Cy Young. That is a cool one. I like that one a lot. All-time victory leaders. Very, very cool there. I'm going to put that one out there too. Um, that's, that's a really nice one. Put that one off to the side for now. Um, but yeah, manufactured relics is just, you know, just give me a piece of cardboard if you're going to put that in there. You know, I want a piece of the game. I want, I want to get closer to the action. And, you know, some of, some of our favorite players, you know, if I got a relic card of Jake Cronenworth, man, I, I'm super stoked about that. Um, Gaylord Perry there. Um, but you know, I just, I, I love getting closer to the game and, you know, autographs and relics are super, super special. Um, so nothing thus far. I'm kind of surprised. I'd like to see some numbered cards in here. Um, starting to kind of see a little bit of a pattern here with some of the players. Lots of Astros, you know, a lot of New York Mets in here. Obviously, we had the Francisco Lindor box topper. Um, so hoping that we're going to get a hit coming up here pretty soon. Like I was saying, the pictures are kind of interesting. You know, you go from the batting stance one to actual players in their positions or, you know, just the portrait picture. Reed Detmers, nice rookie card there. I'm going to put that one out there. Mr. No-No in his rookie year. Love that guy a lot. Um, he did have a big falling from grace, though. Um, was a superstar when he got that no-hitter. And um, kind of had a rough rest of the season. So I'm hoping that this year is going to be a bounce back year for 2023. Um, I think he's too good of a pitcher to stay down for too long. So don't sleep on him. I think he's going to be just fine. And um, looking forward to his next season. It's going to be great. And uh, the Angels are making some moves in the offseason here. Getting Hunter Renfro. That was pretty exciting. I like him a lot. I liked him when he was in Boston. Um, so I know he was in Milwaukee and now he just got... Moved over to the Angels. Mark Melanson, I like him a lot too. Um, so that'll be kind of cool. Max Stassi, one of the Angels to strike out the most this season. Uh, he frustrates me. <laughs> um, but yeah, Hunter Renfro, it's going to be a nice addition to the team. And you know, hopefully Anthony Rendon can stay healthy. Mike Trout, you know, hopefully his back's doing all right and he can stay healthy. Looks like we may have a hit coming in here. Not 100% sure, but kind of felt like a thicker pack. So we're going to see what we can get here. And it does look like we have our hit, and that's going to be Keston Hiria. It's going to be a piece of the jersey. Nice pinstripe there. Um, so that is going to be your one guaranteed hit in this box. It's not going to be numbered, 
Uh, but nice relic card there. It does have the pinstripe. It's nice as not just a piece of white fabric. So very nice, Keith. Congratulations on that. We'll go ahead and put that out there with the others for the contention for the top five. So far, not, not a whole lot here. Um, hoping in these last couple of packs we're going to get a numbered card or two. like to see one of those parallels in here. The parallels are quite nice looking. Um, Ryan Valade, Velade, however you say his name there. So, Ronald Cunha Jr., another nice one there. And Julio Urias and Garrett Cole there. Very nice. So, like I was saying, some of these cards are really, really cool looking. They, um, the then and nows, um, I really like just because I like looking at the old vintage players too. And I think Topps does a really good job with um, putting those older players in here as well, just so... You know, our youth doesn't forget the baseball of yesteryear. Um, I think that's super, super important um, just because, you know, the way baseball has gone, um, you know, we don't want to forget all of the great things that happened years ago. All the players from the 40s, 50s, and beyond. And, um, you know, I'm glad that with Heritage, they do a pretty good job of putting some of the old timers in here. I do know that you are you have the possibility of getting some of the old timer autographs in some of the Heritage products. Um, I have never personally got one before. So, um, you know, if you guys do get those, let us know. And uh, we'd like to hear who you've gotten from the Heritage and um, some of your biggest hits. That would be I, I love to hear about what people are getting and um, gets me excited because it makes me think that, you know, maybe we'll have some luck in finding one of those really big names, kind of like the guy in the front of this pack, Mr. Otani. I do not have an autograph of Shohei Otani yet. I am still waiting on my Topps Fire autograph of Mike Trout. I think Topps has slowed down a little bit on their redemption game. I'm hoping that they can pick it up a little bit. Uh, I've been waiting a little over a month for that one, so I'd like to get his autograph in my hands. Um, that's going directly to the personal collection and probably will never go out of it. All right, Keith, last pack magic here. Everybody, thank you so much for dropping by and watching this video. Make sure to like and subscribe. And um, don't forget about that 100 subscriber giveaway that is coming up. And um, we're going to have more to come with that as well. There's going to be some extra giveaways with that one too. So hang on. We've got more coming your way. And i um, going to be looking for some good stuff coming up here in the future. Nice Jaren Duran rookie card there. I'm going to put that one out there as well just because... Jaron Duran is going to be a great player. Last card of this break is going to be Max Kepler, not numbered. So, Keith, no numbered cards in there. Kind of shocked, but, you know, you did get some nice ones. You got a nice Kesson Heria relic card there. The Jaron Duran is a really nice one. I'm definitely going to be putting your box topper out there because I love the box toppers. Those are awesome. Put that Reed Detmers and the Cy Young as well as well so let me go ahead and kind of put these out here so you guys can see them so from left to right and down one two three four and five that's kind of what i'm looking at here for the top five cards of this break keith congratulations all these cards are going to be shipped to you and you're going to get to take care of all of these so thank you once again everybody for dropping by make sure to drop a like and subscribe and we'll go ahead and see you on that next video which is going to be our 100th subscriber giveaway have a great night everybody